everyone it's Karen here and welcome back to my channel I hope you enjoyed the last video I put on where I showed all my artwork in my art room so I know I didn't show my art room completely just because it's such a mess and as I mentioned in the other video I'm in a little bit on a in a creative funk and I just wanted to show you something else maybe something part of my life something that I display everywhere and one of the things that I promised in the other videos that I was going to show you my paintbrush collection I've recently exchanged some paintbrushes and some people have sent me paintbrushes from all over the world and I basically love creating altered brushes and this is something that I started collecting and it just be took its own kind of turn and everybody wanted to start exchanging with me and I do love exchanging although sometimes it's hard for me to exchange with everybody because I don't have time to create so many but I do love them so if you want to create something and you want to me to proudly display it in my room I would love to and we can communicate and you can send me your information and or I'll send you my information you can send it to me otherwise I will if, if there is lots of people that want to exchange, then I will gladly take my time and select people that we can exchange with, just because I can't exchange with everyone. But I just want to show you my collection. So let's start. Okay, so I have all the brushes displayed kind of at the top of my room, just because I really ran out of room. So I'm gonna quickly go through it just to show you. It's kind of above the door. And look how many I have. And I'm just going to show you all around and then I'm going to go one by one and get closer to them. I'm kind of have to climb on a ladder to do that. So, sorry for the shakiness. I'm kind of standing on a small ladder. So I want to start with this one. This one was made by my friend Rena, and it's super 3D. I'm like amazed by how she added so much stuff to this. There's a lot of real shells and starfish on this and she just painted it and I'm gonna to try to get as close as possible so you can see it without my shadow getting on the way. And this is a very large brush. It's beautiful. You have to see all these details. Unbelievable, really, really amazing. And this one is kind of lower down just because it was such a large brush and with so much, like the frame was so big that I had to kind of place it in, a, in the middle of all the artwork. But the rest are kind of hanging up. And you see even at the top, it has like little charms. The next one was done by my head friend Heather. And this is so beautiful. It's so artsy and so uh, kind of like, you know, Finna Bear style, really grungy and it's beautiful. Now for the next one, you have to see what my friend Robbie did. This is amazing. She created a dress form on top of the brush and added gel at the bottom so it would stand like a dress. And that's, um, you're kind of looking at it from the bottom because that's where I'm standing, but it's just beautiful. The details are amazing. And all of these have videos, if I'm not mistaken. All three that I've shown you have videos. I will try to see if I can link the videos, not the videos, but I mean at least the channels so you can visit my friend's channel. This one that you see here was made by me, the one with the butterfly, and there's actually a video on it and I use mica and gel to create my own paints. And that's the one I created and I love it. It's one of my favorites and I had to display it as well. The next one was created by Lynette and this is beautiful as well and there's a video on it as well. The one that has the K and has all the nice um, shells it was created by me as well. So some of these I've created, I just love them, so I hung them on the wall. So some of these are not by other people, but are, were actually created by me. So I had to move the, uh, the, I had to move the ladder so it would get closer to it. Now this is one of the original brushes I made. The K one I made recently and it does have a video but I think this one maybe does as well. This is one of the original altar brushes that I created, the one that says art. And after making this one, I just loved making it so much that I continued making so many of them. And I think this one was made for Blue Fern Studios. The next one, which is just beautifully pink, was created by my friend Linda. And look how much detail there is on it. It kind of looks shabby chic vintage, just gorgeous. And look at the little bells at the bottom. I just love it so much. 
The next one is also stunning, created by my friend Anna. And she made this like octopus that she got inspired from Gabby Polico. And she used shells and different mediums to create it. I just love this one as well. I love anything beach themed or ocean themed. So you see me doing a lot of that motif in my artwork. The next one is actually was created by me. And you actually can't tell. Let me see if I can get in there. But those ones are, oh, you see, there it is. So it's kind of like a dream catcher paintbrush. And I actually made a few of those when I exchanged them with other people. And this was the one I made for me. So it, it's funny because every time I've exchanged something, I ended up making one for myself because I really wanted to have them as well. I have a really hard time parting from my artwork. This one over here was made by my friend Cheryl and it was used and she used mica flakes to actually create it. And it's just super original. It kind of reminds me of like Frida Kahlo. I just really love it and it has these wings. And she said that it kind of reminded her of me, which I really appreciate because I love so much. So every friend that I've exchanged with, and sorry about the shakiness, I'm still standing on the ladder. Um, every friend that I've exchanged with kind of made something that was special just for me and that made me feel really special. The next one was made by my friend Susan and look at that. Look how detailed this is. And I just thought this was such an original idea. The fact that she made it look like grass, the bristles look like grass. She's the only one who's made it backwards or upside down. Everybody else put the brush down, including myself. And she thought to make this up and just basically have it look like grass. And that word it's in Hebrew and it says to fly or soar. And it was exactly perfect for this bird because she knew how much I love birds and how much I love the saying, right? Because I always feel like when I'm creating that I'm flying. So I really like that as well. This one is beautiful as well. Let me just try to get further away from it. Hold on. And this was done by my friend Alka from India. And how beautiful is that? It's just so grungy and amazing. Like I'm just shocked about how amazing everybody, everybody's creations are. Really, really cool. I love it. This one here is one of the most interesting ones. So this one was made sideways by my friend Kim and she recently gave it to me. And this was an old wooden fish that she decorated and there's an actual brush at the end. I don't know if you can tell. She used the brush to make the tail, but she has so many cool elements on it, including a bob sticking out of the fish's mouth. So it's just amazing. The netting, the details, just unbelievable. Really, really, really amazing. So I love it so much. Thank you, Kim. This little one here, I'm kind of going down at the door. This was made by my friend Rika, and look how beautiful this is. It's just so like metallic and special. I just really love it. So I really liked it and I hung it here because it had the perfect spot right here by my door. The next one, which is the one over here, was created by my friend Carrie. And she's just uber talented and she's going through a lot always. And I just feel like she needs always some encouragement and love and because she really makes beautiful stuff. So please encourage, like when you leave comments, please in this video, feel free to leave comments on the brushes. I really would love to encourage these girls and say how amazing they are and making these projects really, really fantastic. I'm like in love with all of them. The last three, were the next one was made by my friend Phoebe and it's really hard to tell but this is kind of also like a girl's dress or a dress form really amazing I want to try to see if I can zoom in it's kind of above my cabinet so it's really hard for me to zoom in as much as I can but you can see she has a video on this one if I'm not mistaken so you can actually go and watch it I have had to have my husband kind of hang these ones up because I'm very short and I can't reach anything. So I'm showing you the next one. This one was created by my friend Sharon, Sharon Lackanen, who is like an amazing person from Prima. And she has a video on this one as well. If you want to check it out on the Prima Facebook page, she did a live show on National Scrapbook Day. 
And the last one, last but not least, so far, because I do have a whole wall still waiting for more brushes, you see all that wall, I'm hoping that I will fill it up. This one was made by my friend Nuneka, and how beautiful is this? I love earthy things, I love butterflies, and this one's just perfect, it's just so beautiful. So I am just so happy to have this collection, and I'm gonna give you again the last tour of it. So I really, really hope you liked my little tour of my paint brushes and if you would like to exchange or send me one without exchanging because of course I love gifts but I don't have to only receive I if there's too many people I will basically do like a little lottery and we can exchange and figure out what where to go from there if you do want to exchange a paintbrush that's great if you want to send me one we can communicate through Facebook or Instagram just let me know Thank you so much for visiting me today on my YouTube channel. If you like my paintbrush tour, then just give this video a thumbs up. If you, oh, and because my hands are really dirty. <laughs> if you want to exchange on with me, as I said, please just write me down or write me a, a message somewhere, either on my email or Facebook or Instagram and we can communicate. If I get a lot of people wanting to exchange, then I'll just do like a little draw and figure out. I will try to exchange with as many as possible, but I don't know if I'll be able to do all of you. But if you guys want to send me one, I'll proudly display it. I love to have this collection grow. Thank you so, so much from the bottom of my heart for following me, for subscribing to my channel, and for just being there for me. And I try my best to answer all your questions, all your comments, and please encourage one another. Comment on the brushes because I really want the girls that made these to read the comments. Some of them read and watch this video and will be so happy to hear how amazing these brushes are. So thank you so, so much and have an amazing day. Bye.